Today I'm going to be breaking down some information on The Outsiders, what happened to it, and just a lot of that. But before we get into that part of the video, I want to just talk about all the new Juice World stuff that we have been getting recently. And the reason I want to do this in this video and not a separate one is just because it's like a few things just kind of relating to some new songs that are on the way. And I kind of want to just put it in this video to keep all this information together for you guys. Alright, so to start with, Clever did announce that his album, which is dropping December 8th, which is... Uh, obviously the day Juice World passed away he is going to be dropping a song with Juice World on that album and if you don't know who Clever is he is on Death Race for Love he's the feature on Rain Rain he's one of Bibby's other artists he actually has an unreleased song with Kid Leroy as well so I mean obviously he's just like kind of I feel like a first attempt at what he wanted Kid Leroy to be but it looks like he's still working with Clever and we have that song coming out on the day Juice World passed away. We also have uh, Trippy Red saying that he might drop a Blast Off Part 2 on Life's a Trip at Night. So this would be really cool. Uh, I don't know if it would actually be a part two or if it's just like another song, something like Matt Hardy. There's also a leftover song that was going to be on the Life's a Trip Deluxe with Juice and Trippy that's not leaked or anything. There is a snippet of it, but that's it. It could be this song. It could be a lot. There's a couple others. There's a DJ Scheme and Trippy song, so we don't necessarily know. Or they could have even have made an actual part two to Blast Off, but... Either way, it looks like at least at some point we're going to be getting what they're going to be considering Blast Off Part 2. And we also have confirmation from Cole Bennett that Bad Boy is dropping this year. He posted on Twitter the other day saying, To everyone who asks about the Bad Boy video, it will be released this year at some point. I don't know when. That is up to Bibby and Juice's team, not me. Which is basically saying that, yeah, at least sometime this year, we're going to be getting the Bad Boy video. And obviously, we only have September, October, November, and December left. So we have four months left to this year at the time I'm making this video. And Baby also tweeted out October back in, like, what was that, July or August. So we're getting a lot closer to that month. So that could have been the Bad Boy video that Bibby was referencing, which is something that, you know, we kind of thought could be happening. And then there is one more thing. So I actually replied to one of DJ Scheme's tweets saying something about like dropping a new song this month and I said Scheme drop Coraline on the album. Now obviously I know the song's leaked and everything, it's not that I'm asking for leaks, but Coraline for one is a really cool song and two, if we've learned anything at this point, they want to drop leaks. So you know, might as well just ask for fan favorite songs so at least we're starting to get better leak songs in my opinion at least. And then uh, Scheme actually responded to my tweet retweeting it saying what if I had something better unreleased. So this could mean we're either getting way too many on Scheme's album, and like I said, that Trippy and Juice song that Scheme produced. And it's not Coraline because obviously, because he already shot down me asking if it was going to be Coraline, and we know it's not Conversations because I dropped on Legends Never Die. So it's literally way too many or that Trippy and Juice song. So we're just going to have to kind of wait and see what's going to happen with that. Alright, I just wanted to break down those little things. Uh, those are like four songs that we've kind of just been hinted towards that, that might be coming or that are confirmed to be coming sometime soon. So I just wanted to break all that down, let you guys know about all that. Now that we have that out of the way, I actually want to start getting into today's topic, which is the Outsiders video. Now, Outsiders was what the original plan was for Juice's third studio album. Before he died, he had been talking about in interviews that he's dropping an album on his birthday, and it was going to be Outsiders. There's stuff of him mentioning this, talking about this, and we basically just know it was Outsiders. Outsiders was supposed to be Juice's third album. They basically did what they did with X. Before X died, he was saying that he had an album coming out called Bad Vibes Forever, and then sadly X passed away, and then we got Skins, and then we got Bad Vibes Forever. And we're basically getting the exact same thing with Juice. Juice was talking about Outsiders, he passed away, we got Legends Never Die, and now I'm assuming the next album is Outsiders. Now there's one issue with this. A lot of the Outsiders songs got taken off and added to Legends Never Die. I know this because the Outsiders leaked, so we knew what at least either a version of the tracklist was or an original version. Now maybe Juice made a different version, maybe the label is going to say that Juice made a different version because they took songs off of it, we don't know. We're never actually going to know what the Juice's original plan was, but I would like to think that from what leaked, that was what the original plan was, and it just it sucks that that whole version of the album leaked, because that's probably why they did Legends Never Die, but I could be wrong too, I'm not sure, because Legends Never Die was full of leaks, and I figured the reason they were making a new album was so it would have no leaks, but like I said, that didn't matter, so I really don't know what happened to this album. It's literally just like rinse and repeat of what happened to X, which sucks in my opinion. And you might feel different about that, which is okay, but that's just how I feel about the situation. 
I do want to break down this track list that's on the Outsiders Wiki. Now, some of the tracks I don't think were on here at all, but there are some of them that I do want to talk about because I know were on here because they leaked when Outsiders was supposed to drop. The whole album leaked, and I will talk about the songs that leaked and were going to be on the album. Alright, so starting in, the first track is Sad. Now, I, I think they just probably added this because it got added to Legends Never Die, and people know that Legends Never Die was like a version of Outsiders, but I don't think this ever had a plan to drop just because it was a song written about Starfire, or it was made for Starfire. So I really don't think Juice would have ever dropped that. And then we have the song Hennessy. Now there's an actual leak called Hennessy or there's Bottle. Uh, neither of these, I don't believe, were a part of that original track list. This is like an early Juice song from like 2018, at least sometime in 2018. I It could have been a part of the original Outsiders, but I don't remember this being anything to do with that. And then we have Bandit. I think this is just on here because it was a single that never really was for anything. And if you don't know, this was originally going to be on the Legends Never Die album. But then when all the backlash came out, they ended up taking Legends and Bandit off the album. And Bandit also is like kind of thought to be the, a hidden track or one of the bonus tracks on the deluxe for Death Race for Love. Because it's produced by Nick Mira. And Nick Mira, when he's breaking down the beat for this on his Genius, he says that he was surprised when this didn't come out on the album. But then it came out as a single well, that's probably where he's getting that from. Now, Pour Me Up is Purple Substance. No, this is just a new leak. This was not on the original Outsiders, at least not what leaked. Now, starting into this, this is the original Outsiders. So, number five is Bad Boy with Young Thug. This was on the original Outsiders, and we have confirmation of this because it didn't leak originally with all the Outsiders songs, but they were making a music video for this for Lyrical Lemonade, and it's a done. Like I said, it's going to be dropping sometime this year, so this was on the original Outsiders. And then we have Lonely Road featuring Polo G. No Kid Leroy was on this originally. The name of the song used to be Lonely Road, which got later changed to Hate the Other Side with Kid Leroy. But yeah, the song originally just had Polo G on it. There was an open verse, so either Juice, Polo G, or they were going to add someone else on to that feature. And maybe either way they were going to add Leroy onto the feature, because I'm pretty sure Juice's label made him add Clever to Ring Ring just to kind of give him some exposure. So they were probably planning on doing that with Leroy either way, and they just chose this song for that. Next up is Burn. This was another original song that was going to be on Outsiders, and people have been thinking this might be on the Deluxe if they ever get that, but yeah, Burn was a track that was going to be on the Outsiders. And then we have Righteous. We know for a fact Righteous was going to be on the Outsiders. In one of Allie's lives after Juice passed away, she said that she wanted to keep everything in the same order, same way it was going to drop before Juice died. When she said when he died, she was like, we still need to get Righteous out and all this stuff. So we know Righteous was a part of that. It was supposed to be the lead single to Outsiders, just like how it was the lead single to Legends Never Die. And then we have Friends Die, which is another big leak, and Snippet. This song Juice had previewed multiple times on Instagram Live, and he even did it at a concert. So it was for sure that this song was going to be coming out on the album. And then we had Sometimes, which neither of these, Burn and Sometimes have not dropped yet. They are leaked, but I'm surprised they didn't make it onto Legends Never Die. But yeah, both these songs are made for outsiders and then we have runaway runaway is also known as cage or known as fighting demons so this is another outsider song that got taken to that album and then we have tell me you love me featuring trippy red which was yes another outsider song and then we have up and away it used to be called up and away not up up and away this one was also for the original outsiders and then we also have come and go which was also called edm or it's like the edm version of come and go it was still going to be the marshmallow version it was just going to be on outsiders not legends never die so basically seven of these songs, which also don't count like Sad, Hennessy, Bandit, Purple Substance, I'm not counting those, but seven of these songs were for Outsiders. Uh, the only one that's an exception is Bad Boy, but we know Bad Boy was originally on Legends Never Die because it was in the leaked track list that Vol of Juice shared. And we know the video is coming out sometime this year. So unless Outsiders is coming out later this year or early 2021, I'm pretty sure Bad Boy is just going to be another one-off single. Or they're just going to add it onto the extension to Legends Never Die, like what they did with Sad or Smile when that dropped. So yeah, like seven of these songs, at least six confirmed, were on Outsiders and got taken off for Legends Never Die. So this is what sucks. This was the last handpick thing Juice was working on, and now no matter what, we can't get this in its entirety. I would have been way more happy with this album dropping, even though these songs were leaks, because it was Juice's last handpicked project. 
So yeah, it just sucks, but I'm assuming we're still gonna get some some sort of version of Outsiders. And if we don't get the Legends Never Die Deluxe, then I would assume Burn and Sometimes are gonna end up on it. But other than that, yeah, I mean, they could add Purple Substance, Hennessy, but other than that, yeah, because we know Sad's not gonna be on it. It's already got added to Legends Never Die's tracklist. So we're really just gonna have to wait and see, but that was the original tracklist for Outsiders that isn't gonna get dropped now because those songs got added to Legends Never Die. Now, I would do another video where I kinda go on and break down the Genius version, or I would add it to this to break down the Genius version of the tracklist for Outsiders, but I'm not gonna do that because it's just added a whole bunch of leaked songs that had no correlation, or, like nothing behind them kind of proving that, or at least giving some kind of like information that these could even end up on outsiders so just a whole bunch of new leaks added on there and there is one more thing i do want to talk about way too many was the original intro for outsiders now if this doesn't drop on schemes album they could keep it this way because in the song juice literally says it's for the outsiders and it's the intro it's just we've known that for since he previewed it on instagram live in 2019 it's just the intro to outsiders now are we still gonna get outsiders yes we are gonna get it eventually like i said whether it's late 2020 or early 2021 i feel like sometime in 2021 is a way better bet i don't think we're gonna get a deluxe for legends never die and I don't think Outsiders is dropping this year. I think it's dropping sometime next year. Now, I could be wrong. I've been wrong before, but I've also been right before. So, so that's what I think is going to be happening with this album. I think we're going to get the documentary sometime at the end of this year or early next year. And then that's going to hold us over until we get this album. And then, yeah, I think this album might have sometimes on it, Burn, way too many, if that doesn't drop on Scheme's album. And then... We just gotta wait and see what the rest of the songs are. But if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for the support recently. Uh, we just hit 3.3 thousand subscribers, which is crazy. Uh, we're on the way to 4,000, so just make sure to subscribe. Also, guys, if you want to check me out on other social medias, I do have a Twitter. That's at Complex Discuss. A link to that is in the description down below. I also have a SoundCloud. A link to that is in the description down below. I make up new playlists every single month of songs I'm currently listening to. And then I also repost your guys' songs on there if you dm them to me or comment them down below or send them to me on twitter and i like them i'll give them a listen and repost them on that soundcloud as well but anyways the link to everything is in the description down below thank you guys for watching this video make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one